So much like the black skin, there's going to be some of the purple skin that want to be showing through the glowing spots on this texture. So much like we were just doing, we're going to be erasing some of this. Nothing too complicated, just erasing it so it looks like there's a little bit of the skin that maybe has grown over these glowing orbs. Okay, now in order to make the these orbs really look like they're part of the creature, really make it look like they're sort of radiating out, I'm going to add in some veins, some, some blood vessels, so it looks like this glowing material is moving throughout the entire creature. And it'll also help blend these orbs with the rest of the body. So in the Cracks and Wrinkles Alpha Pack, there are a very useful selection of veiny textures. Now what I need to do is I need to again set up the bright blue color. And as you see, we can get these moving outwards. You want to make sure you're varying up the size a little bit too. And making sure you're using as many different shapes as possible. Now part of why it doesn't look like it's glowing so much is because of the ambient occlusion layer. We're going to deal with that in a second. For now though, if you really want to get an idea of how bright you can get this glowing, you may just want to turn the ambient occlusion layer off, which is what I just did. In fact, one thing I might want to try doing is some adding a little bit of depth with these. Some yeah, that actually works really well. Should have been doing that from the start. Some so with a little bit of depth added, and I'm using a very, because I need to click multiple times, I'm using a very, very low brush strength, maybe 2%. Some so that when I click multiple times, some you will hopefully see, if I decrease the depth opacity, you can see those veins showing up into the normal map. Yeah, and you want to be varying how far away from the center these veins go. If it's the exact same distance all around, it starts to look a bit inorganic. Okay, now before I do the other side, one thing I just want to go over really quick. So I'm going to go with my eraser tool. I'm going to pick very soft alpha. And I'm going to erase the edges of these so it looks like the blood vessels are sinking deeper into the skin because otherwise it looks otherwise it looks like these veins have been overlaid on top of the skin and they're not actually part of it and I want to erase it until the very tip of it completely disappears so hopefully you can see the difference between one where I have done a little bit of erasing work and and one where I haven't. These ones look like the veins are overlaid on top and just come to a halt, whereas these ones look like they start out on top but then they sink deeper into the skin. As you see, I'm using a very large alpha with a soft, or a large brush with a soft alpha so that I can make the tip disappear completely and then there's a smooth transition between being completely invisible and being totally opaque. If I use a very small brush, you see the vein still just stops.
Okay. Now, next thing I'm going to do with the glow layer, go back to brush, but I'm going to use this alpha from the Artman pen pack. That should also come with 3D code, and I'll turn off depth painting for this one. I'm going to paint these here veins on the wings. Let me try this alpha instead. There we go. So I'll pick that first stroke mode option. So I can get good tapering effects. And Now one other thing this does that's also really useful is that it, the alpha itself provides this nice baked in glow effect for these veins. It makes it really look like they're lighting up. All right, one final thing we're going to do to the glow is we need to make it really pop. And to do that, we need to get rid of the ambient occlusion layer. Now, we did this while we were painting it so we could see it more easily. But now, we want to include the ambient occlusion layer because it provides some nice depth on the rest of our model. We want to get rid of it only where the glowing blue areas are. The way we can do this really easily is if we select the glow layer, we then go to freeze, freeze painted pixels. There we go. And then if we invert that frozen area, control shift I. Wow, that is dark. So then I'm going to go up to my ambient occlusion layer and I can erase this from the body UV set. I can erase the ambient occlusion only where we painted on the glow layer. So if I go in with my eraser tool, a square marquee, and just grab everything, and you see everything becomes a little bit brighter. Actually, I'm going to undo that real quick. I'm going to reduce my eraser transparency to just 50%. I still want there to be a little ambient occlusion affecting these, just not as much as there currently is. So we'll do that again. See everything becomes a little bit brighter. Control D to deselect everything, or just freeze, unfreeze all. And now you'll see our glowing areas appear just a little bit brighter. All right. Let's move on to making some adjustments to the bone layer.